change my I'm just going to lay this up here on the podium. I just sent him a two minute warning. Good morning. I'm glad you could be here. Um, before we get started, uh, I really want to emphasize again to keep the victims and the family members in our prayers as they go forward um, with the funerals that are coming up this weekend and just ask that everybody keep them in their prayers. Over the last week and a half, Upshur County has been really turned upside down uh, with this tragic event. Uh, I know many citizens have been on edge about what has happened and concerns about uh, the, their safety has been the utmost uh, concern of ours and uh, we've been working on this very diligently for the last over, uh, over week and a half since it occurred. We are here to, this morning to tell you that last night at approximately 1.30 Central Time, Capital Murder Suspect Alvin Charles McKnight Jr. was taken into custody in San Bernardino, California by the San Bernardino Police Department. Tuesday evening, we had received information uh, that he was possibly getting on a bus and heading west. Uh, as we worked that information, uh, it enabled investigators we were able to pinpoint a location on the westbound bus traveling from Abilene, Texas to San Bernardino, California. While we were still following uh, information and developing leads and doing things, we also had concerns over the well-being of the passengers on the bus. So the decision was made that we were going to go ahead and allow the bus to continue on as we tracked Mr. McKnight and let it go on all the way to San, San Bernardino, California, before we made contact. During the time yesterday, starting very early in the morning, we were actually in contact with San Bernardino Police Department, passing our information on to them, and we stayed in contact with them continuously until the operation was completed their time around 9.30 at the police, at the bus station where he was apprehended once he exited the bus and we had confirmation that he was in custody at that time. During the investigation, we had found a new phone number that which was used to enable us to track him real time and where he was going. Um, other, method, other methods were also used during this surveillance period that we used uh, to ensure that he can continued to stay on the bus until he reached his final destination. Investigators, we didn't track his bus until he got to San Bernardino. And again, that was when the takedown team there with San Bernardino actually took him into custody and we got confirmation that he was there. At this time, uh, at this time, I'd like to take a, a special thanks to the folks that actually helped us tremendously with this investigation um, because as you know we are a rural law enforcement agency with limited resources and uh, we definitely reached out and uh, made contact with folks that actually uh, been over backwards to help us early in the investigation and throughout the in its uh, entirety to a successful conclusion last night in San Bernardino California I'd like to give a special thanks out to the department 
the Texas Department of Public Safety Special Investigations Division, the CID group, the Texas Rangers, the U.S. Marshal's Office, the Longview Police Department, who in our very early in the investigation uh, uh, reached out to us uh, with any resources that, uh, that they had available to them to assist us in the investigation, as well as the uh, Department of Public Safety pretty much was in contact with us shortly after the, the investigation started. Would also like to reach out to the Gladewater Police Department who assisted us and has been assisting us since the night of the investigation where they actually located the suspect's vehicle. And uh, we've been pushing out information to them uh, and uh, back and forth to keep them in the loop on what was going on. A special thanks for the hardworking folks of the, uh, the Upshur County CID Division. They've been working tirelessly for this uh, since this happened and uh, we haven't had much sleep around here. Um, and we've been working very hard. Also to my communications section, uh, when this lead did come in to us, they were, uh, they were uh, uh, very involved, actually took a self -initi initiative to uh, develop some leads on their own and pass that information on, which uh, actually helped to, uh, to confirm uh, information that we had already had that actually helped us out. Another big thanks is to the citizens of this county that also provided tips and information to us that, uh, that uh, assisted us in this investigation to bring it to our conclusion today. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to uh, allow uh, Mr. Bird uh, to uh, say a few things and then uh, I'll be able to take some questions. Mr. Bird. Thanks, thank everyone for being here today. Uh, there is too many to name individually that have been working on this, but there are many. It's good to have relationships with law enforcement divisions outside of your county. I'm thankful that we have those good working relationships and people are willing to, to work. Now, there's been a lot of time that's been put into apprehending this defendant. He is now in custody. Uh, make no mistake, justice will be served in this case and that time and day is coming. There's a lot of steps that must take place legally in order to bring him from California uh, back to Texas, but we will we'll immediately begin working on those steps uh, to bring him back safely to Upshur County and the Upshur County Jail. Uh, he will not be getting out of jail. We will be looking forward to a day in court. And for the, the victims, we, you put so much into apprehending let us all pray and think about those that have lost people they care about and love. Life can end very quickly, and we see that every day in law enforcement, uh, and that certainly happened on November the 5th, uh, but we're here ready to stand in and ready to see that justice is done. Thank everyone for being here, all these men and women that have worked tirelessly to track him, uh, some that aren't in this room today with us, they have worked hard. I want to thank Sheriff Webb, I want to thank his office, his CID division, Rob Bowen, the lead investigator that's standing behind us this morning, uh, and all those that have assisted in work, and we look forward to the day coming forward to having him back in Upshur County. Thank you. Um, I also want to, I didn't get to, to cover this one, uh, a big thanks, is also out to our brothers in blue that are out in California without their cooperation and what they did last night um, when we passed information on to them uh, actually went into harm's way to actually catch this person so we can bring that individual back here to our county to stand trial. A big thanks to the San Bernardino Police Department for what they've done for us. Any questions? Sheriff Webb, uh, the family's reaction when you uh, notified them this morning of this capture? Uh, I th believe that everybody is going to be, they are uh, excited about this and relieved that this has happened. Sheriff, do we know if they, he had contact with anybody in California, friends or family who was trying to make it to or just trying to get as far away as possible? Uh, that's something that I can't discuss uh, exactly why he was going to California. The information that I can give you is that we knew that he was going to California and that is where we caught him. Sheriff, the um, big uh, net that y'all had to uh, throw out to capture him from East Texas all the way to California and all the agencies involved uh, some agencies you never haven't worked with before weren't familiar with how everybody was able to 
uh, uh, get together on one accord and be able to uh, track him and everything? Tell us about that. Uh, last night, uh, we were able to track him. Um, and we were actually in a live group together, everybody that was involved in the operation. So we had real-time intelligence that was, that was given out to all the agencies that were participating in this operation. Um, and, uh, and, and that's how it was able to come to such a success to last night. Sheriff, you mentioned that, that you said 1.30 last night. Then you said something about 9 o'clock. California time, of course, is a couple of hours, I think, behind ours. What, was it 1.30? No, it was a That's a correction. That'll be 11. 11.30. 11.30. 11.30 our time, about 9.30 their time. About 9.30 their time. And did he, uh, did he resist arrest or was it peaceful? It was peaceful. Okay. Hey, me for the tips they gave. How important were those tips? Anytime that you develop a relationship with a community like we've been able to do, uh, that is very important. Uh, one of the things is the community needs to trust their law enforcement agencies and know that when they put out information to us that we're going to take it seriously and we're going to follow it up. We have mounds of tips that have come in over this last week and a half and mounds of digital data that we have been able to actually uh, compile to help us uh, get this person into custody that we're now we're going to slow down a little bit we're going to have to look at everything and go piece by piece and put the best case together that we can so we can get it over to mr bird for his prosecution billy uh i guess this question should be addressed to you uh i guess what you were talking about steps involved extradition from california right yes uh, there's legal processes that we have to go through to extradite an individual out of state uh, back to Texas. Do you have any idea of when he might be uh, returned here? Uh, I couldn't comment on that at this time. Uh, it will take several weeks in order for this to be accomplished, though. For the extradition? Yes. Okay. And where, uh, Sheriff, is he currently uh, incarcerated? He is currently in, Sa I would in San Bernardino County Jail. Is that right? That's correct. Where's Chief Taylor? San Bernardino County Sheriff. Yeah, County yeah. Jail. that's and where he's at. Bond been set on him out there? Negative. My question is for Mr. Bird. Um, Mr. Bird, um, even though it's still early um, and it's a, a double murder case, is um, the death was the death going to be something that will be on the table? Or is it still too early to decide? Well, I appreciate the question. I anticipated a question like that. <laughs> Uh, while I already know the answer to that question, I think ethically and responsibly, uh, we need to have him back in Upshur County. He needs counsel appointed, and then we will make the announcements about those matters at a future time. Yeah, go ahead. But let, let me add one other thing. There's one family member that was incarcerated Saturday uh, that we did the warrant on. Make no mistake, we believe there's other people that have been involved, and rest assured, every person, no matter what rock they're hiding under, it will be turned over, and every person that helped assist it in any way, I've made clear to Sheriff Webb, uh, which he agrees with completely, we're going to bring them, and we will, and I will prosecute each and every one of those people. Sheriff Webb, even though y'all have him in custody, there's still a lot of legwork that y'all still continue to have to do with this investigation to continue to tighten up the case to more to make it more presentable to the DA's office for the charges? Yes, it is. We're, we're fixing to uh, go back to work and, and, and start compiling the evidence that we have, and uh, it's going to be very uh, time-consuming and intensive and tedious work that we're fixing to, to now bite off on and take off. Was he arrested at a bus station out there in San Bernardino? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So, in other words, as soon as he got out off the bus, they got him? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, one last thing, you know, uh, one thing is the, the family can now start their grieving process and move, try to move forward in this. Keep them in their prayers. Uh, for the citizens of Upshur County, uh, try to rest a little bit easier now that this subject, this this person that has terrorized our county uh, for the last week and a half is now in custody and uh, justice is going to be served in this. Do y'all have any idea where he's been all this time? Can you talk about it? Can we can't discuss that part of the case right now. 
uh, the uh, murder weapon. Uh, do y'all have the murder weapon in hand, or is that something y'all still in search of? We're still we're still investigating that side of it. Yes. Anything else? Thank y'all very much for coming. Thank y'all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm.